Good morning, Mets fans, and happy hump day. It is Wednesday, and it is a Wednesday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and last night was the All-Star Game, and I said I wasn't going to watch it, and I did. Um, and it was interesting. It sort of felt like a Mets game. Uh, Low-scoring game to start. Bullpen comes in. A whole bunch of runs are scored in the 7th, 8th, and ninth innings. But it wasn't a Mets game. Unfortunately, it was uh, just the All-Star game, and the National League lost again. Anyway, um, our boy Jacob DeGrom pitched well, gave up a home run to uh, Mike Trout. Not a bad pitch. Uh, it was down. It should have been up, but in any event, doesn't matter. A game means nothing, uh, especially for the Mets, since the winner, of course, uh, gets the home field advantage nonsense. Crap. Whatever. So, uh, I promised earlier this week that I'd go back and revisit some of the predictions that I made in the preseason and see already just how far off I am on them and let me tell you it will not disappoint I am far off on all of my predictions on March 28th before the season began I made some predictions uh, I made five of them to be exact <sighs> And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> uh, first prediction I made, boldly, I said health will be a strength for the team in 2018. Well, I was wrong on that one, just by a little bit. Once again, the team has not been healthy. Um, the removal and uh, replacement of Ray Ramirez has meant absolutely nothing. The team continues to be injured at a historic rate. So, wrong about that one. Number two, and the only, the only prediction I got right, the bullpen will be shaky. I was right about the bullpen being shaky. I said that A.J. Ramos was not reliable, he was no Addison Reed, and I thought that the Mets would end up either signing Greg Holland uh, or trading Juan Lagares for a bullpen arm. And this, we know they didn't sign Greg Holland, but the second part of what I suggested may have actually come to fruition had Juan Lagares not been injured which goes back to prediction number one. So, again, way wrong on that one. Number three, the pitching staff will be healthy. And there will be 10 wins for Matt Harvey. There will be 17 wins for Noah Syndergaard, 17 for Jacob deGrom. And, and I laugh at this one, 14 for Jason Vargas. 58 wins between the four of them. Um, the Mets might not even make 58 wins on the season. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, man, how far off was I on that one? Um, the guy that deserves the 17 wins, I mean, he should could, could easily have eclipsed 20 this year on a major league capable team, was of course Jacob deGrom, but um, it's not likely that we're going to see Syndergaard get the 17, Matt Harvey's not even on the team, um, uh, he might get to 10 wins, well, that might be that might be one that comes true, and uh, I'd bet, I'd bet my, uh, I'd bet my Fenway Park seven line army tickets that Jason Vargas isn't going to win 14. So, uh, that's that. Number four. <sighs> Shaking my head on this one, too. Adrian Gonzalez will man first base all season. We will not see Dominic Smith until September call-ups. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know what prompts me to make such ridiculous claims, but uh, I did, and whoops. Adrian Gonzalez has been DFA'd. Dom Smith has been called up. Uh, but um, Dom Smith has been atrocious. Uh, he has one RBI. He's batting under 200. He's not shown the glimpses of the player that everybody thought he might be. At least not yet. So Dom is here, but he's not doing a whole hell of a lot. And he's playing... Uh, playing next to never, because Wilmer Flores is the team's first baseman at this point. Whatever. Finally, and uh, this one is, is laughable as well, the Mets will win 92 games and will either win the division or win the first wild card spot. I'm just going to let that one marinate a little bit. So I have a 200 batting average one for four on my predictions and you could argue that I wasn't completely accurate on my predictions because I did say that they would actually do something to improve the bullpen and they, they haven't 
Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop making predictions. And I thought more about it. And because I was so far off on the predictions I made in March, um, on tomorrow's video, I'm going to make brand new predictions for the second half for the Mets. And I sort of, it should be easier, you know, because in March, spring training, hope is high. You're thinking, you know, crazy things are going to be great, better than ever, whatever. Now there's a little bit more reality that, that is set in. We kind of know what this team is and what they're not. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make some new predictions uh, tomorrow and, uh, and we'll see where we go with those. But until then, um, I thank you for watching. I appreciate it as always. And you can follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.